Hello and welcome to this short video on keyword research, uh, one of a planned series of videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about doing our initial keyword research. And for this particular example, we're using MicroNiche Finder. You can do this equally well with other tools, Market Samurai. Um, you can also use Google's free keyword tool, which works very well. Um, I use MicroNiche Finder as my uh, default go-to tool simply because it has uh, a lot of features which make the process uh, quick and easy for me. Um, and remember, we're getting the same information whether we use MicroNiche Finder, Market Samurai, Google, etc. Also, very important, make sure you have the most current version if you're using MicroNiche Finder. Uh, the most recent one is 5.3.8. They've had a lot of upgrades recently, so if you're using this, make sure you check. Um, based on the niche research brainstorming list within the 100K blueprint, uh, just as a starting point, um, we're going to look at one of these relationship sub-niches, in particular marriage. And so what I've done in MicroNiche Finder, I'm using the term marriage as my seed. I'm going to click on search. I've already done the search, so it's going to take us right to the results screen. And here we have the results, typing in the word marriage as or seed. You'll notice that I am on exact rather than broad or phrase. We want to start out looking at results for exact match. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is tell MicroNiche Finder to uh, hide some of the results. I'm going to use Filter. I'm going to check everything that has more than three words. I'm sorry, less than three words. You'll notice the check boxes here. Whoops. And then I'm going to tell it to hide all the checked results. That leaves me with phrases of three words or more. And I'm using that just as a starting point to make the process go a little bit quicker. Generally, uh, in some of these niches, the one and two word phrases uh, are going to be very competitive and not where we want to start. Next thing I'm going to do is search, I'm sorry, sort by search count. It's the day after Christmas. My tongue is not working all that well yet. Please bear with me. Click on this column and it now sorts in order highest to lowest for my search volume. And I can see right at the top here, now often for a lot of these niches, these top numbers will be very high. Uh, generally, that correlates to a lot of competition, uh, which we don't want to look at. These numbers are pretty good. Uh, from the 2400 up to 8100, that's a pretty good range to look in. I can often find uh, keyword phrases that are not that competitive. So what I have are my exact match volumes based on the seed marriage. And if I look through here, I can see some commonality. Uh, imagine my own keyword phrase group, how to save a marriage, save my marriage, infidelity in marriage, affairs in marriage. That's already suggesting to me a possible uh, thematic focus for a keyword phrase group. So the first thing I'm going to do now is start to look at the competition. Uh, how to save a marriage has pretty good search volume. What I did was click on it and do a search. And these are the results. If we look through here, and let's go down one, two, three, four, five, Number five, how to save a marriage. You'll notice it's a sub page. It's not the root domain. We'll click on it to see what our competition is like at position five. 
one of the things we notice if we look down here it's got a page rank of 1 and using my search status plugin over here if I right click on it I can go to show backward links in this case rather than for the domain I want to look at the page remember we're competing at, with pages pages get ranked not domains so we're interested in the strength of this page if I look at the backlinks in Yahoo Yahoo we'll see it's only got 52 it's also important to make sure we're looking at external links so I'm going to click on accept from this domain which drops it down to 14 so this page has a page rank of 1 and only 14 external backlinks now part of the reason it's ranking is that it has the keyword phrase in the URL and we remember that that's very important if we go back to the search we can move up a little how to save a marriage at position 3 it's probably going to be a stronger page and we notice no page rank so it's bound to have plenty of backlinks in this case we're going to look at domain because this is the root domain and what we get is 974 if we remove the internal links and just look at external links it drops uh, about 20 percent 783 that's a lot but we can tell from looking at these links that these are lots of low value links by the way Yahoo often shows you the strongest links on top not always but generally however if we look at these here's one on movie trailers this is a science magazine um, look down a little further inaugural Boston biennial uh, so clearly this is just uh, backlink getting they're not relevant backlinks if we follow the blueprint uh, action plan of getting say 10 links a day within just a couple of months we would have this many links anyway and in theory we'll have a more targeted uh, site so we know that position 5 here is easily beatable position 3 isn't too bad and so this is looking like a pretty good number of uh, keywords that we can group together in a theme along the save your marriage idea we found a couple of decent volume keywords that don't look terribly competitive and by the way if we go to broad match now we can start to see a lot of secondary terms that we can use to either fill in our keyword phrase group or add on after we've established some rankings for our site so that brings us to the end of this initial video just a walkthrough of some basic keyword research